um, the colors that I see on this lemon are not just yellow, different kinds of yellow. I definitely see the green color here. I see a little bit of brown. I even when I really, really want to look very carefully, I also can see a little bit of pink, believe me or not. So I have my set of oil pastels here that I put on the side. I have my pencil. I have also a regular drawing. It's not really drawing paper. I have a um, printer paper because I think always about you right now when you are at home and when you don't have art supplies. So what can you use? I'm sure that this paper is available to you at home right if not use the regular if i'm sorry if you have drawing paper for sure that will be a better option so here's our lemon and i want to make it really really big so on this paper so i will be drawing it here the shape notice it's an oval shape oval right it depends there are different lemons but i think this very seldom happens that one it's perfectly perfectly rounded right so like as a circle shape so this would be here now very important part here guys if you draw a lemon we have the tip here right which goes here and with this tip usually it's a different shape it looks like this right then we have to look at the back sometimes you can see it depends under which angle you see here i can see both parts but when i tip it a little bit on the side you see we see it from the top you won't be able to see it so uh, let's see that we see it perfectly in front of us so i will make a tip here this is the part in which it's partially the stem right you see already dried up right left here so we have this nice tip here and then we have the back of it so now what we want to do we want to use our colors i will move it still a little bit more down right remember each lemon looks differently because they have personalities right like a people they are not exactly the same now i will look here also for the stand oh what has happened here so i will look for the color that you see my lemon will be let's see will be up to here that will be the grand uh, background now i will look about uh, for the yellow color and i certainly will have also green color in them in it so here is my yellow and has to be really 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 clean and that is the problem with pastels when you that you have to clean them up otherwise you get so excited about the drawing part and you forget to clean them now notice what is happening some of this um, graphite the lines done with graphite with your pencil um, move or blend into my color my pastel color and um, I get this kind of grayish color which doesn't bother me actually and it will work very nicely here okay so I'm going with my yellow color here all around see here oh I got even red on it hmm you see that's so called accident that we will turn into happy accident we will include this color in our color composition that means how all those colors will be set up in our beautiful artwork here so i have to now look so you see here i leave a little bit of this white surface of the paper untouched because i want to maybe create use the, this as a light now what i want to do i want to introduce a little bit of the blue and the blue why do i want to introduce blue you will say madame okay what are you doing well, the blue with yellow, when I blend them, will give me green color, right? And I like it. I like to create my own green ha, here on the tip, right? And the same going here. Like you see, this is the part that gets lots of light. But here, the object turns. Like you see, when I look at this lemon, it turns here. So it will be a little bit of the shadow. That means that the color has to get darker. Now, I have a couple of options. I can apply this color, which is okay too, right? This is this mustardy color called yellow ochre or oxide yellow right depends if you use acrylics or oils as paint right so here we are you see i can slightly blend it here and it's definitely you see i'm going around here like this right so what it does help me it helps me to create volume that means make this object looking like it's 3d right that you can touch it that you feel the roundness of it right when you see okay so that works well and i still want to bring a little bit of my beautiful you see here i bring some yellow again right and with the strokes you see my strokes also help 
uh, me to present better, bring the illusion of volume in my object. So here this will be. And then I want to bring some of the green here because I do see green and some of the, you see, here, just a tiny bit here. And I definitely need to have it on the stamp, not so much on the stamp. I want to have a little bit of gray color here, you see. And then, because there's something here, there's a little bit of the green too, but it's a dead green it, because this is already dry. Okay, so I bring it just a tiny bit there, you see, like this. And I got this color here and it doesn't bother me because I can clean it up, you see. If I got too much, I can clean it up with paper towel. Okay, and I will need a little bit of white. And the, what white will do here, it will blend those colors and make them looking like you see little bit lighter good okay so i have it now now what i want to have i want to have a little bit strength my yellow here and i will bring a little bit of orangey color here too okay so my orange is coming and do i have my orange oh here 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 it is you see this color here and i bring it just a little bit on the back here you see again just a little bit rounding it because why not right i want to have this orange uh, I'm sorry, lemon, 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 to be a little bit uh, colorful, right? And darker. And I can't get this darkness. I can apply black, but I don't like black color to use extensively. I like to use a little bit. You see, I got some, even some red here. How did it happen? I don't know. I must have it on my, on my oil, yellow oil um, stick. Here. Okay, good. So you see we have lots of different colors. This actually looks good. I don't mind that, right? So it's quite rounded here now. You see, we really feel it. You feel this roundness. Now we go here with a little, I think we can also go here a little bit darker. You see, by the edges, right? Get it even darker here. And then we will have now, we will start blending the colors here. Okay, so I'm blending, blending, blending them. That's very important part, you see, with oils, that uh, oil pastel, that you can blend the colors together. Okay, I'm making it a little bit darker here with a little bit more green, you see? That's always the process. It's like when you use oil paints. It's so much fun because it's the, this, the drawing is never finished. You have to decide only, you see, if this is called quit already. If you already set enough, but you realize that's never, nothing gets perfectly finished. Nothing. Okay, good. So I got some even darker pastel here. I don't know how that happened, but I embrace it and I turn accident into my happy accident. So you see here, that's good. This actually works very, very well for me. I'm going here with a little bit more, you see, and I'm getting quite a nice, nice effect here. So I can also get a little bit darker here but I'm going to place a little bit of red here on the bottom. Notice what it does. It does create a very interesting effect. You see? Making it even more volumetric. That means there's a little bit more volume, roundness right here. Oh, oh, oh look at this. That's, I like it. Um, what about when we'll experiment and we'll apply a little bit even more green here and a touch of it here, you see? Just a touch. Remember, they are, it's like oil paint. We want to have it more in, we ha want to have colors. We want to feel that we are artists, right? Who are not afraid of playing with the colors, okay? So you see here I am, and then I can come with some yellow again here and blend those colors together. I can do it with my finger or I can just simply cross hatch the colors one on the top of another. You see, that looks really, really good. Good. Now, the one more thing that I want to do at this stage to the fruit, you see here, I still apply a little bit of this flesh color. Okay, here, just a tiny bit more. And then, that this is time for me, let me see, a little bit of black here to more emphasize. You see, a tiny bit more here, you see, oh la la, it's coming very nicely. Now, and then I need the color here on the, here in this section. Um, on the bottom and I'm thinking about the colors and again I like to use blue on the top but this time I have to change so I'm thinking what about using red here or maybe not red what do you think which color should we use black black always looks good we can also use blue and you know what in this case let us use blue 
So I'm going quite precise next to the object. You see, quite here, quite precise to create the effect of nice stand of unified one color. I'm going to the line that I created here. Ooh la la, pastel break. So that means that I really press it very, very hard. Oh yeah, because I want to cover the surface. So now I'm leaving some of the white on the side and I'm okay with it. I like the effect of the work, per not perfectly finished because I want to show the process, how I came to, to drawing this object and and in which way, right? So this is well, this is a, a method that uh, many artists actually use when they draw or paint. They don't finish it completely with, let me see, I just push this paper on the side with the background. So here, the colors are working, I think, very nicely together. You see here, the only one thing that I still need to have on the ground is a little bit of the shadow. You see, the shadow that will represent that this object cast it on the ground. Because when you look at this lemon, look at this here, there will be a little bit of shadow here, which you will see standing where I am. So I'm thinking, which color can I add here? And I can add black. Sure, I can. Just a little bit here, you see. So it will go a little bit rounder like this here, because the object is rounded, right? So you see, I'll apply it like this. And I blend it with the with my beautiful blue color and it's n it can't be too sharp right so you see i will blend it here some place some places i can leave it a little bit more so you see i have a nice shadow here i can continue here with it okay i noticed that somehow i lost this part here so i have to go a little bit stronger here and i use the other the other yellow color color here right so you see I have it now there the line I apply it here and I'm going back with my blue here you see I like to have it a little bit further here and I want to introduce this black still a little bit more here you see like this I think that will look really really nice here like this oh la la I really like it okay now what we do for the background who can tell me which color should we use for the background do you think it would be nice to have which color it would be nice to have red maybe or maybe gray what about gray gray always works well so again i'm like to um since it's such a big surface i like to take paper off my um oil pastel and what i will be doing here i will be going with the side of it not the tip but with the side to complete uh, working on the background so you see here I'm going quite precise I'm going back to the tip of my pastel and I'm going around the object to make sure that I will not go with the gray color on the top of my lemon you see then it's much easier to work with the side okay here and I will oh yeah yeah at most I'm really working very vigorously here Okay, so this time I will turn my drawing on the other side so it's easier for me to reach the top. Right now it's bottom again, so that's good. Okay, you can see how nicely it's coming together. My drawing, you see here. Let us look at this again. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, and then we have now our, our lovely fruit. You see, I still think I can go with here. Oh, no, 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 no. I got some red. I didn't want to get it. So I have to go on the top again, you see. And by pressing, by pressing my yellow pastel onto the section that had too much red, I was able to clean it up, okay? So this is good. You see, and then we have our lovely drawing done. If you think that you still want to add some colors, you are very much welcome to do it, right? I will leave it on the stage. I'm quite happy with the results here, maybe a little bit darker. I always like to add some things here, right? A little bit more here. And you know what? And that's my drawing of the lemon. And I hope that you will have lots of lots of fun drawing your own lemon at home. Uh, have a wonderful day, guys, and see you next time. Bye.